Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in this video we're going to be talking about extremely large stars. But more specifically we're actually going to take a look at stars that might be even bigger than the largest star we've discovered so far, right here on the screen, UI Scooty. Welcome to What The Math. So this is actually what the system of UI Scooty may look like uh, in real life if you were to kind of hover um, away from the star at a distance of about 20 astronomical units, which is basically somewhere where Uranus is. Um, but um, today we're actually are going to talk about five stars you may have never heard of before that might be even larger than this. Why might be? Well, it's actually because it's extremely difficult to measure the size of these stars because they're really far away or because they actually vary in brightness or even fluctuate in size. So there are five objects out there that might be even twice larger than this thing right here. And this thing, if you were to place it in the middle of our solar system, which of course we have to do before we start anything, we're going to do this right now by placing it right uh, there in the middle where the sun is would be so large and so tremendously big that it would reach almost Saturn. Uh, actually, Saturn um, is just above the surface of the star. Now, if I were to let this go, it is going to be supernova, most likely, because I think I actually destroyed our sun and the sun got swallowed by the UI Scooty that right here. But there are stars, at least five stars, that uh, we discovered that might be even bigger. So let's go with the first star you may have never heard of before. A star that's actually in a completely different galaxy. It's uh, in the nearby galaxy of Large Magellanic Cloud. A star known as WOH uh, G64, also known as WOH G64, because that's probably the sound the astronomers made when they discovered the star. It is located right there. This is the Large Magellanic Cloud. It's a little bit hard to see it right now, but if I have the brightness, you'll see it almost right away. Uh, this galaxy is actually known for a lot of really famous objects, including the most massive star. But this right here is the star we're talking about. So this object could be as large as twice the size of UI Scuti, meaning that instead of being about 1700 radii of the sun, it could be about 2800 radii of the sun. It could be much, much, much larger. In other words, it could potentially cover um, everything up to Uranus in our solar system if it was in this particular location. But because the star is so far away, it's about 170,000 light years away from Earth. As a matter of fact, Earth would be somewhere right around there. This is what it looks like from this particular system. So due to the distance, it's kind of hard for us to actually measure the size precisely. But on top of this, this star also seems to have an extremely large almost uh, like a shell covering it, so it's very difficult to see the inside of the star system. And this shell, this unusually hot uh, amount of dust and gas that covers the star, is actually approximately one light year in radius. In other words, not only is the star tremendously large, but it also has this tremendously large um, outer shell around it, that basically covers a huge amount of space, a tremendous amount of space. If there's any planet in here, it's probably completely irradiated with some, some of the hottest and most um, radioactive stuff you can imagine. All right, let's go to the number two star you may have never heard of before. Uh, it's this star right here, PZ Cassiopeia. This star is actually very similar to Canis Majoris in the way that it looks and the way it um, behaves and also in the way that it expels a lot of mass. It loses a lot of mass uh, pretty much on a regular basis. But as you can actually see um, in Space Engine, it also seems to have a few planets orbiting around it. As a matter of fact, we can actually go and check some of them out by landing on the surface of one of them. Now, uh, PC Cassiopeia is about 9,000 light years away from our uh, star system, from our own solar system, and um, it seems to be just a little bit larger, or potentially a little bit larger than uh, UI Scuti. It could be about 1900 radii of the sun. Now, the measurements for it are not very precise, so we don't really know for sure. So its size could be smaller or it could be around 1900. Um, it's very possible that in the next few years we might be able to discover the actual size by measuring this more precisely. But until that happens, we're going to make an assumption that it's either 
a little bit smaller or much larger than UI Scooty. The maximum uh, measurement so far indicates that it's about maybe this big in comparison, so just a little bit larger. Similarly, there's another star uh, known as VV Safi, uh, a binary system, as a matter of fact, that has two really interesting objects. Uh, and here, this is where it gets interesting. The estimates for this particular system right now indicate that the larger star is very similar in size to UI Scooty, maybe even a little bit bigger. But what's interesting is that this star is actually growing. So this is a binary system where the larger star is actually slowly consuming the mass from the smaller star and so it's actually expanding in size. So it's very possible that in a few thousand years it actually will be much much bigger even than it is now. The current estimates go from anywhere uh, between 1400 to the maximum estimate uh, indicated that it was about 1900 as well. So very similar to the previous star which is already larger than UI Scooty. Uh, but because it's growing, it's definitely going to become the biggest at some point in the future. And what about the smaller object here? Well, it's actually most likely going to get all of its uh, mass eaten up and will either turn into a red dwarf or possibly even a brown dwarf or basically become a planet, which is how uh, some planets were actually born. They used to be stars and then their companion ate their mass and basically they ended up with nothing. Pretty bad deal if you ask me. Anyway, let's go to number four. A system known as KY Cygnii. Now, this particular star um, is actually is very interesting because, first of all, it has some of the largest known uh, loss of mass in our galaxy. It loses a tremendous amount of mass compared to other objects, but that's because it's basically a super inflated giant. But also, its size, at the current estimate, is once again, anywhere from uh, about 1400 up to the double of size. So it could be as large as 2800 radii of the sun. So it would actually go all the way to Uranus and most likely swallow Uranus as well. Uh, so this particular star may potentially be currently the largest object known to us. It's not 100% certain, but it is very, very possible, and f future observations and measurements might actually establish its more accurate size. And the last object we're going to take a look at, uh, star number five, is actually located in a relatively famous, um, but relatively small star cluster known as Westerlund 1. I'm going to show it to you first. As you can see, there's, uh, there's a few stars here. Uh, some of them are really, really bright. It's not a particularly exciting cluster, though it's very small, but right in the middle, right there, you'll see that there is a star um, that's very, very large, but also very, very, very red and very bright. Even though these other stars look like they're a little bit brighter, they're not. This is a much brighter star, but the thing is, it's actually covered by a tremendous amount of dust, so its brightness is officially decreased by about 13 times. And this star is known as Westernwind 1-26. So let's uh, jump to it. Let's take a look at it. As you can see, just like the other stars, it has a relatively similar structure and appearance. It's basically um, what would be known as a hypergiant. But what makes this interesting is that due to the amount of dust around it, we're not entirely sure how big it is. The current unofficial estimate goes as far as 2500 radii. So basically, once again, a lot larger than UI Scooty uh, by a factor of about 60%. Uh, and also, um, at the same time, this particular star might be even bigger than that because the dust might actually be blocking a lot of the luminosity. So we might not be seeing the true luminosity of the star. So in other words, so even though UI Scuti is currently the record holder for the biggest star, um, in the future, in the next few years, as we establish better techniques for measuring the size of stars, other candidates might actually become more prominent. And, become the winners and the record holders. Although don't forget that the size for stars is really not what's important, it's always the mass. And as of today, the most massive star is still the same star as it was years ago, and that's the star known as R136A1, a star located in the galaxy we just came from, Large Magellanic Cloud. A star about which I've talked about many, pre many times previously, so do check out videos about it if you want to learn more about this extremely massive giant. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully now you know about five more stars that are potentially larger than UI Scooty. I'll see you guys tomorrow, subscribe if you still haven't, click the bell button to be notified about future videos, and 
space out. And by the way, if you do want to help this channel, the Patreon support does help a lot. Bye-bye.